Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In today's presentation, we will discuss what parietal lobe seizures are, the subtypes of parietal lobe seizures, and treatment options for parietal lobe seizures. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. We appreciate your support. According to the International League Against Epilepsy, parietal lobe seizures are difficult to diagnose, especially in children. During a parietal lobe seizure, people can experience visual hallucinations, vertiginous and visual illusions, and disturbance of body image. There are seven subtypes of parietal lobe seizures. The primary sensory area causes focal somatosensory seizures. Symptoms are tingling, numbness, electric shock sensation, pain, sense of movement, or desire to move. The non-dominant parietal cortex causes seizure characteristics that include feelings of movement, altered posture, feeling of a body part being enlarged, decreased, elongated, or shortened. Distal body parts and the tongue are commonly affected. The secondary sensory area can cause focal cognitive seizures to take place, resulting in a loss of ability to move, which may be followed by clonic jerking in affected areas. The parietal occipital junction can cause focal cognitive seizures, resulting in visual illusions. Examples are macropsia and micropsia, first of eye movements or epileptic nystagmus may occur. Complex visual hallucinations may occur. Paracentral labial seizures arise in the non-dominant hemisphere. They may cause sexual sensations affecting the genitalia. The subsequent phase of the seizure may be accompanied by sexualized behavior. The dominant parietal temporal region causes focal cognitive seizures. When taking place, they result in having language impairment, difficulties reading, calculating, and writing. Frontal parietal operculum are seizures characterized by facial, clonic movements, laryngeal symptoms, difficult to articulate, swallowing, chewing movements, and hypersalvation. Autonomic and emotional features are common. Gustatory hallucinations are common as well. The most common form to treat parietal lobe epilepsy is with anticonvulsant medication. Carbamazepine is taken to decrease nerve impulses related to seizures. Levetiracetam is commonly used for partial onset and tonic-clonic seizures. Lamotrigine can be used as well. It has fewer side effects, but may be less helpful. In severe cases, surgery is such as a parietal lobectomy, where a portion of the lobe is removed, may benefit the patient. Parietal lobe epilepsy is a relatively rare form of epilepsy, which affects a part of the brain that processes somatic senses. The parietal lobe is responsible for processing those somatic senses, including touch, pressure, pain, heat, cold, and tension. There are many symptoms associated with parietal lobe epilepsy. There are seven subtypes of parietal lobe seizures. Treatment options include medication and, if needed, surgery. To learn more about parietal lobe seizures, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.